run away from the police when they have a problem. Calls by President Haka and HMA for the Zambia Police Service to uphold human rights have been endorsed. Stakeholders are happy with the pronouncement that the issuance of police bond and bail on straightforward cases must not be unnecessarily delayed. In this vein, the Zambia Police Service has implored its officers not to abuse their authority pertaining to the issuance of police bonds. Spokesperson Esther Katongo has issued their remarks. We've had uh, situations where um, our police officers have been abusing their authority when it comes to issuance of um, police uh, bonds. And Prison Care and Counseling Association Prisca Executive Director Godfrey Malembeka says detention of suspects devoid of speed trial is an affront to human rights. The president's instruction or policy direction is very, very exciting. It's very, very exciting because he's one who was arrested many times. And at one point, he, even, he was even thrown in jail for three months or so. Meanwhile, constitutional lawyer Mangala Zlomi says admission to bail before the courts of law is a constitutional right with regard to bailable cases. You know, we've seen cases where you know where there's been a denial of a, of, of bail and you wonder why i mean uh, sometimes you don't even represent these people they appear they're unrepresented and they ask for bail and uh, over a matter that is bailable over a matter that they're not a danger to society or a danger to whoever whatever offense they've committed trial is in line with uh, international law of habeas corpus. Habeas corpus demand that uh, a suspect uh, must be arraigned in court and tried within reasonable time. Hano Kasama, ZNBC News, in Lusaka. Government has approved the procurement of 4,004,000 doses of Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine. Of this quantity, the country is receiving the first consignment of 129,600 doses of Johnson & Johnson vaccine on Monday, September 6. Ministry of Health Permanent Secretary Technical Services Kennedy Malama says this is through the African Union's initiative African Vaccine Acquisition Trust, AVAT. Dr. Malama has told ZNBC News in a statement that this is part of efforts to build the country's vaccine stockpile in line with the approved COVID-19 vaccine program. He says his ministry is also collaborating with UNICEF to ensure that commodities and supplies for infection prevention and control IPC are made available in health facilities. And Dr. Malama says the country has for the sixth consecutive day recorded three COVID-19 related deaths. The permanent secretary said the three deaths are from Central, Eastern and Lusaka provinces. He said the cumulative number of COVID-19 related deaths now stands at 3,614 adding that there are currently 18 COVID-19 active cases in the country. And Dr. Malama has disclosed that government has made progress in ensuring that hearing problems are minimized, especially in children. He said this during the official launch of hearing and audiology equipment in Lusaka in a speech read on his behalf by Chief Emergency Officer Mwene Nsaluke. Dr. Malama said with the new equipment, he ear and hearing problems in children will be mitigated. Meanwhile, Starkey Hearing Foundation Country Director Kelvin Malenga said the foundation is determined to ensure easy access to hearing equipment. Now, Mumba Central Member of Parliament, Credo Nanjua, says the promise to increase the Constituency Development Fund, CDF, in the 2022 national budget must not be doubted. Mr. Nanjua says he has assured that President Hakainde Hichilema will ensure that CDF allocations are released each fiscal year. We have a report. He has returned to his constituency after officials being sworn in for a second term as Mumba central lawmaker. Credo Nanjua was in Mumba to thank the people for voting for the UPND and President Haka in the Hichilema. Mr. Nanjua assured his people of more development now that he's in the government. I want to whisper to you 
Nifuno kamba na mpangono pangono. That is His Excellency the President. Kuti wosogolera a President. 